The goal of a nuclear bomb is to unleash as much destruction as possible. During the Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union raced to build ever bigger bombs and missiles. Weapons capable of wiping out entire cities. But we also thought small. In the 1950s and 60s, a Soviet invasion of what was then West Germany seemed very possible. The United States wanted a weapon that could stop the Soviets cold. So they created miniature nuclear bombs. The United States military in the 1950s actually developed a atomic recoilless rifle, kind of like an atomic bazooka. It was nicknamed the Davy Crockett. When you start to miniaturize atomic weapons, they become tactical. They can actually be used for the first time on the battlefield, and that completely changes the equation. The Davy Crockett carried the lightest nuclear warhead on record, the W-54. At 11 inches in diameter and weighing 51 pounds, the W-54 was small and light enough to be carried by one man. It had a tripod, you could download it or actually fire it from the Jeep itself. The Davy Crockett's range was about two miles. And so depending on the power of the warhead and the direction of the wind, the operating team could be in danger. With the more powerful explosive heads that were used on the Davy Crockett, there's actually a possibility that the range of the kill zone is greater than the effective range of the weapon, making it a weapon of last resort. The Davy Crockett was tested several times, but never used in combat. Eventually, the weapon was stockpiled and then decommissioned in 1971.